Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we are going to be going over the latest Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 72 Saiyans vs. Ceruleans. Now, this was a pretty good chapter. I really liked it because it, it had some action but you could tell it was completely story building. And, and basically like fact finding and, and different things of that nature. So, Goku and Vegeta turn around and they actually show up on the planet and they're trying to determine where uh, Granola could possibly be at. So they can't detect his energy and they quickly determine whether or not, well, you know, he could probably hide his key. It's not a big deal. So they decide to go ahead and fly off and... Uh, you know, that's where uh, the heaters decide, hey, you know, let's stay back. Oil's going to go and, and take a look at the battle and kind of keep track of everything from there. And uh, then they're just going to sit back and wait for uh, Elec and Gas to basically make their move to be able to find the Dragon Balls and get that stuff going on. You also get a little bit of a tidbit that this isn't the first time they've been on Planet Serial. You actually find out that Gas and Elec have been there before, and Gas must have suffered some type of defeat because he specifically states that his memories of the planet are not particularly good ones. So perhaps maybe he got beat by Bardock or some of the other Saiyans, and you know it's really hard to make that determination without anything. It's complete speculation at this time, but uh, Elec does make a, a comment that he's changed a lot since then, and it won't be like the last time. So. You see Goku and Vegeta, and they're kind of seeing everything, and they're trying to figure out what's going on with the landscape. They're noticing that the cities are still pretty much good, but there are some old ruins. Um, at this time, they get ambushed from Granola, and he sits there, and he's just sniping away at them, and they're barely able to dodge. So Vegeta goes straight to Super Saiyan, and he's able to sit there and, and keep up with the dodging. Goku decides to, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's try out base form Ultra Instinct and make sure that I can basically dodge all these things. And they're going through, they, they decide to go to the ground where the blasts are coming from and they're dodging. And then they notice, well, he's not here. And they couldn't figure out because they know for a fact that's where the spot was coming from. But then all of a sudden, the blasts start coming from above. So they immediately get out of the way. They're trying to dodge. They're trying to figure out how this guy can be so fast. And they're just kind of keeping up with it. Well, Goku is sitting there, and once they get back up in the sky, he, he ends up getting hit. So at that point, he falls to the ground, Vegeta runs, and then luckily enough, of course, they brought Sensu Beans, but, you know, being the overconfident people they are, they only bring two. So he immediately turns around and gives him one, so that means they only have one Sensu Bean left, which I have a feeling that's going to come into play, and I'll, I'll, I'll mention that here a little bit closer towards the end, but... So I'm, I'm, you're going through, and he, he ends up saving Kakarot, and he basically tells Goku at this time that, hey, look, if, if you don't know how to utilize Ultra Instinct, don't rely on it, because this guy's not playing around. So they both go Super Saiyan, and then they are trying to find him, and then they locate him, shoot a blast, and instantly, Granola jumps behind them. And they kind of realize, well, wait a minute, is that instant transmission? And they're like, well, no, it's even faster than that. So they kind of start having this conversation, and, and uh, you find out that Granola just kind of has this technique. He can't explain it, um, he, or he doesn't have a name for it, but that's why he's the strongest in the universe. And then they kind of go back and forth, and they're talking a little bit. And he is basically letting him know that, hey, yeah, I know you guys are Saiyans, and they seem a little bit surprised by it. And Granola just launches this massive blast. And they both fly to the sky, and, and Oil's watching the entire thing, and he's just like, wow, he's amazed that this massive blast came through. And you actually find out the blast is very similar to the Hakai. And so from here, you can find out, okay, uh, is he able to copy their techniques, in which Goku even questions that. But then they go through, and they just get ready to continue the battle. So at this point, Goku asks, hey, you, you want to team, team up to be, take him down? And of course, Vegeta being Vegeta is like, no... You go ahead and get revenge for getting shot in the back. I'm going to hang back and basically observe, which is pretty cool because it's always Vegeta that seems to go first, and he always gets the short end of the stick. So I think at this point, he's like, no, you go down, be my guinea pig. I'm going to watch and see how you fight. And that way, maybe he can learn a little bit because he even specifically states when he goes to observe the battle, he knows something's not right. And, and he says that he's going to keep an eye on the situation because this villain doesn't seem right you know there, there's more to this and he knows it so at this point Goku says okay let's go ahead and, and throw down and he goes to Super Saiyan God 
And of course, Granola's like, I thought you guys all had black hair. You go from yellow to red, and Goku just tells him, Well, I've got transformations. We're gonna we're gonna throw down. Let's let's get this going on. So they're they're getting ready, and Granola just sits there with like a pretty cool stance with two fingers and just jumps right after Goku. And Goku's, you know, dodging. It's pretty cool interaction. I, I, I could see this being an anime style that it's almost kind of very similar to the beginning of like Goku and Cell's fight where they're like testing each other out. But I don't think Granola's testing. I think Granola's pretty much like, look, I'm, I'm going to take you out. And that's what makes him different. He... You, he knows he's the strongest. He knows he's got different things going on. But at the same time, it's like, okay, wait a minute. I know I've got to be careful. I'm going to get my revenge. I'm going to beat these guys up. I'm going to find out where Frieza's at, period, end of subject. So Goku realizes that, okay, I can't mess around. Closes his eyes instantly gains the advantage and just starts dodging with Ultra Instinct. And and Vegeta even makes the comment that, okay, it's be, Ultra Instinct's becoming even more powerful with each transformation. So you know then he's got blue in his pocket and full-blown Ultra Instinct, which also possibly Omen, um, if, if he could even go to that level next. But I have a feeling Omen is just kind of gone. Um, Mastered Ultra Instinct is probably the, the final level. So at this point, they're just going through and just making that determination of, okay, hey, let's let's go down. And, and Granola jumps up in the air, makes a, a whole bunch of blasts, and Goku just easily dodges all these. And then just for a second, he loses his guard, and Granola just taps him, and it, just right in the gut. And he Goku's like, okay, now wait a minute. Like, you almost got me, you know. And then all of a sudden, he just instantly drops to base and then goes down to the ground. And even Oil's like, whoa, that was just a tap and he completely knocked the guy out. And Go or Vegeta then at this point realizes, okay, he's, he's targeting vital points. Because that's how he knocked Goku out in base form when he was using base Ultra Instinct up in the sky with the shot. And now with this. So as they're going through, he's able to basically make a determination that, hey, I could tell that you're moving before your brain senses an incoming attack. And he's just like, Goku realizes, hey, you're you're noticing this. Like, that's that's pretty observant. And Granola tells him, hey, look, I am basically the best in the universe again. And that his right eye is the sharpest. And he can see everything, even the way his body muscles and blood flow so he could watch him and know exactly where to attack that he could cause the most damage so that alone forget the fastest forget all those other things if you have just that ability he's instantly the best i mean imagine like uh, him going toe to toe even before with with Frieza, not realizing he had this ability, and we don't know if he got this increase because of the of the Dragon Ball wish, or if that's something his eye always had the ability to do. But he just instantly, I mean, if, if you know, think about Piccolo and Frieza's fight. If Piccolo could have pinpointed um, vital blows like that, he could take Frieza down pretty quick. I mean, think about all the pressures, and Frieza would be thinking, "You're just tapping me," and then bam, instantly go down. So. He could have been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of people but just didn't realize it before. Or maybe it's because of the wish and all of his his eye got enhanced that much. It's hard to say. So Vegeta starts looking around and really is kind of noticing, okay, there's some things that, that aren't right. And so at this point, they're, they're trying to make a determination of what they're going to do. And then you actually find Vegeta starts realizing what's going on. Well, Granola at this point is never powered up. So he instantly powers up and you could see his power up aura. And he realizes, hey, look, I'm going to take you down. And Goku and him are kind of having this conversation. And he's like, look, I'm going to kill you because I still have one Saiyan left that I can beat him to tell me Frieza's location. And at this point, Goku's like, well, wait a minute. Like, we're not Frieza's location. What are you talking about? He's like, I'm going to have my revenge. Stop acting dumb. And Granola, you know, gets ready to go to attack him and this time, Goku just goes blue. So now he's Super Saiyan Blue going against Granola. And it's a pretty cool fight sequence. You can see him with some in-close battles. You actually see one panel where Goku's giving him an uppercut while kind of dodging his blow and pushing it away. Um, and then the Cerulean's. Um, you see the battle and everything kind of going on with the Cerulean's. I think what you're going to find out is the battle is going to go over in the next chapter or couple chapters to where it's going to start affecting people. And I think at that point, Granola is going to see Goku and Vegeta react 
and save people's lives. And maybe he's going to think at first, oh no, he's going after the people to use the people against me and then kind of continue on trying to, and not realizing they're trying to protect him. And I think, I can't think of his name right now, but the, uh, the old man, uh, Namekian that's there, I could see him getting hit and almost dying, and Vegeta's like, no, and then could see him swooping in, giving him the last Zensu bean, waking him up, and then at that point, that is what's going to stop Granola's rages, he's going to realize, okay, wait a minute, you just saved somebody's life, that's not what Frieza's army does, and I think at that point, they're going to start realizing, okay, let's talk, things aren't what they seem, I think we've been tricked, but at the end, you see Vegeta, and he's standing in the old ruins of, of the Cerulean's uh, home that has been destroyed, and he sees the giant footprint of the Ozaru, and that's when he kind of realizes, oh, I think I know who this is, because he even makes a comment earlier that, like, wait a minute, like a fighter that has, like, a perfected eyesight? Like, he know he, th- it sounds familiar to him. And then when you sit there and, and have that, it obviously uh, shows up from that point. So I really like the chapter. I think it's a good story build. I, I, I've already told you what I think is going to end up happening with the, the build up to it. So pretty good. Uh, I, I'm, I'm excited. I am invested. After seeing this, I know there's been some question about whether or not people could be invested in the story. Like this is definitely investment. I could see a couple different ways that this can go. So um, I like it. Pretty good. Can't wait to see what's going to happen next chapter. But otherwise, guys, that's it. That's today's video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you guys are going and hitting that red subscribe button. And don't forget that notification bell and the thumbs up button if you like today's video. And let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought. But otherwise, that's it. That's today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.